I'm back, guys. Here I am, I'm back. It has been a hot minute. I am the world's worst YouTuber. I will take that title. How have you all been? I hope everyone has been doing well. Like I said, it has been a while. I have just been here and everywhere. I felt like I needed some time out. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have just been to Ibiza. I went to Ibiza with a few of my friends. Sorry, this bit of hair is really irritating me. Um, but yeah, I went to Ibiza with actually more than a few. I went with a lot of my friends. It was one of my friends, Hendu. And I planned when I was there to do loads of content, to film a YouTube video. And of course, it didn't go to plan. Some things in life just don't, and this really didn't. It soon became apparent on the trip that I was going to struggle to get photos and even film a video. Everything was very fast paced on the trip. We had a lot planned. And also, no offence to any of my friends, none of them are very good at taking photos and doing stuff like that. Except for my friend Nicole. She is very good. But it's kind of a big ask to keep saying to someone whilst you're away, like, can you come here? Can you take photos of me? Like, it's time consuming and you miss the moment you were in with your friends. And do you know what I thought to myself? Since I started YouTube and Instagram, I have never had any time away from it all. And although I absolutely love it, I felt like I needed that time away. So I just enjoyed my weekend. I had a great time. And I did no fucking work, did I? That's basically what I'm trying to tell you. But... I feel refreshed. I feel like I've got loads of new ideas. I feel like I needed that time away. And I'm back and I'm better than ever. Anyway, today I'm vlogging, obviously, because I'm vlogging right now. And I'm going shopping. I feel like it's been a while. It's been a while since anything. But I feel like it's been a real while since I've done, like, a come shopping with me video. I feel like we all enjoy these. Hopefully you enjoy these. But I definitely enjoy them because, basically, I just take you guys shopping with me. And I just feel like that is a dream. Before I leave, though, I've had a parcel delivered today. I actually had two parcels delivered today. The first one was my new earrings. Look how cool they are. They're these, like, star ones here. I literally love this earring company. I've spoken about them so many times on my Instagram and I feel like I've spoken about them on my YouTube too But they're from a brand called RO Jewelry I actually think I have a discount code for them. So if I do I'll leave it down below I need to double check if it's still like valid But basically I wear these earrings to shower in in the pool To sleep in everything else and they just do not go green You can wear them 24 7 and obviously they look really pretty another thing I was gonna say is I got a delivery this morning in here is a new handbag You can tell the handbag is gonna be very small though because the size of the box is like the size of my head which usually like handbags come in like massive boxes but I'm so excited about this I hope I love it as much in real life as I do when I see it online I've never actually seen it before in real life so yeah bought it on a bit of a whim but YOLO I'm gonna quickly unbox it on Instagram stories and then obviously I'll show you guys and hopefully I went in my outfit today because my outfit I mean look you very rarely see me in any color and today I've got this lilac blazer on and I am feeling it anyway I'm happy to be back I hope you're all happy to see me back and let's get on with the vlog I'm literally so excited to unbox this. I feel like at the same time, no one's really going to like it, but who cares? Hopefully I like it, and that will be the main thing. I have just done my unboxing, and honestly, I feel like everyone <laughs> thinks I've gone crazy. So this is the bag. Are you ready? It's like for a borrower. <laughs> oh my god, honestly, it's tiny. I knew it was going to be really small, but it's so cute basically you can wear it as like a bum bag so that's why i purchased it god i look like i've got huge shoulders right now um yeah so basically you can like put it around your waist i'll insert a picture around here somewhere to like show you what i mean but i just thought it'd look really cute like on holiday around like a white shirt or something like that and i just love small bags and i just think it's really fun and yeah why not it's literally big enough to fit one card in and a piece of chewing gum how wonderful. Well, I have literally just got into town. I feel like it has taken me forever to do anything today. It's like three o'clock and I've only just got out. Like, what is actually wrong with me? That is the problem when I go to the gym. So like, I barely go to the gym anymore just because I just haven't got the time. And then like my mission, like I said to myself last week, was like my mission is to start going to the gym again. So I actually miss it. I feel like my body looks a state. So I'm back on it. But then what happens when I go to the gym is I don't have time to actually do the things in life I need to do, like eat. So it's currently three o'clock, and guess who hasn't eaten? Me. Oh my God, there's this guy in Canterbury who does these like rolled ice creams. He's in this little van here. So good. It's like, um, it's called Esky Bros. But they like mash up anything and put it in it. Anyway, I'm just walking in to eat now. I need to get something to eat. It's so bloody bad. I have eaten, I feel like a new 
beautiful woman. I always feel so much better after I've eaten. There was this guy in front of me who just would not shut up talking. But just saying such annoying shit. Anyway, all done. Oh wow, that's so nice. I'm literally just walking into H&M and look how nice this jumpsuit is in the window. I love it when they dress all the mannequins, so cool. I love this. This is really cute too. So obviously as always they won't let me film in the shop. I'm gonna grab some bits and I'll see you in the changing rooms. I am in the changing room and my God, I am so bloody hot. Anyway, this is all of the stuff I picked up. My color palette is always neutrals. I love these cord blazers. They've got it in a cream color and in a brown color. Obviously got that jumpsuit from the window and let me put it all on. So here is the jumpsuit on. Do you know what? First impressions, absolutely love it. It's lovely, like not too thick material, but it feels like expensive material. The buttons are all tortoise shell. It's got this lovely like tie waist to it. It just looks really nice. So imagine this with like a little pair of heels or something like that. Now my only complaint is, and this is just something that is just going to happen to me and probably no one else, if you've watched my shopping videos before you know I have an incredibly short body and therefore the crotch is literally down here when it needs to be up there. So I do absolutely love it, I love the whole style of it and everything else but I literally can't buy this because it just doesn't fit me right. But for someone with a normal size body I feel like this could be really 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 nice. It's only, I think I just checked the label, it's £34.99 like everything from H&M I feel like it's always like good value for money but this would look so nice with a pair of wedges it looked really nice with a pair of trainers just for like a barbecue or something like that genuinely love it just a shame my body is like a dwarf's how bloody cute is this dress I kind of feel like a, a little bit like a milkmaid and do not think by the way sorry if you can see my nipples I didn't wear a bra today and so having a bit of a wardrobe malfunction with everything I'm trying on um, but do you not think this looks like Love Shack Fancy I don't know if any of you have heard of that brand they do the cutest little summer dresses but their prices are absolutely through the roof I'm sure like the quality of it's really lovely and everything but honestly the prices are a joke now I do really like this dress but on me this is how long it actually is I could actually get it altered I think it's only $24.99 which is like really really reasonable and I do often like get stuff altered when they're cheap but I just think this would look really nice with like a hat with a pair of sandals on the beach it's like a crochet material it's like really light cotton so it wouldn't like be too hot if you were on a beach or something like that. I do really like it, but once again, for me, it's just like the wrong kind of length. And I feel like this, I look a bit like, I don't know what I look like, but just not, just not looking very sexy. Do you know what I mean? So I'm putting my hair over here because my nipples are on full show in this t-shirt. But I often get asked where I get on my white t-shirts from. It's from a mixture of places, sometimes from Topshop, but regularly from H&M. And this one is so nice. It's just kind of like a mottled kind of material. Really like lightweight. I've got it on a size medium and I buy so many t-shirts from here because they're really good value for money. Let me quickly check the price of this. It is $8.99. So I suppose that is a little bit more, but I think it's because the material is this kind of like linen-y feel, which I'm really all here for. Now, these trousers I have got on are so, so nice. They've got this like belt with them as well. And I think they're from like Lydia Millen did a collection with H&M and I think they're from her collection. So like I said, they are lovely, but are you ready to see how long they are on me? I mean, who is actually this tall? Like, are we serious? I'm five foot three with 32 inch legs. Like, who is actually gonna fit into these? So they're really lovely. They fit so nicely around here, but it's just a no. Like, unless I got them and then got them altered again, I just don't know if I like them enough. They're a really like lovely material. Would look so nice on the beach. And I actually really like this overall outfit. Hang on, let me get my new bag. My ridiculous bag that's literally got three things in it. But just to just to show you, yeah, this would be such a nice outfit. But for me, the trousers are just ridiculously too long. And I think even my dressmaker would tell me to go home and grow some legs and don't buy things that are that ridiculously oversized. Next up is this little crochet number. You could actually tuck this into like these trousers. It would look quite cute. It'd look really nice with a pair of denim shorts. It's perfect just for holidays. Look lovely with a tan. It's only $17.99 and I got it in a size medium. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can just see all the detail on it. Same again, like everything else so far, it feels like really good quality and I just feel like it'd be a really good handy holiday top. 
Now I have like 65 brown blazers, but I feel like you'll never have enough. This one is slightly different. It's like corduroy effect. It's got tortoiseshell buttons. We know I love a tortoiseshell button, so I feel like it makes everything look expensive. Obviously does not go at all with these shorts I've got on right now. I've got this on a size 16 because baby girls, you know I love everything to be oversized. It is pretty oversized though, but I like that. I mean, you could honestly wear this as a dress. Same again, really lovely quality. And I was, I'm in an hour and thinking maybe do I need a size 14 instead of a 16? But I like that kind of look where it looks like you've nicked your dad's blazer. I don't actually know the price of this. Let me quickly have a look. Oh my God, it's only 34.99. I genuinely wasn't gonna get it because I just thought I don't need another brown blazer in my life. 34.99. I thought like this could come in really handy going into like autumn, winter. Obviously, I know I'm really pre-thinking buying this now. I mean, you could still wear this in the summer, but I just feel like corduroy is a bit of like a wintry material. I don't know if anyone's feeling the same. But do you know what? Quality-wise, a fit. 10 out of 10. They also do it in a cream colour, so I'm going to try that on now. Oh my god. I literally love it in this colour. I just didn't think I'd like this colour at all. And I thought I'd only like the brown, but on. How bloody nice is this? I think the reason I'm saying it's kind of like wintry is because it's actually quite thick material and currently today it is like scorching hot and I'm thinking a thick blaze like this would be hell on earth but do you know what this would look so nice with just a pair of denim shorts? I have about 65 white blazers though but I don't have any corduroy blazers so maybe Maybe this is a shout. Honestly guys, it's so lovely. This one is actually a size 14. It's made me realize that the brown one was too big because this one definitely looks better. So yeah, I'm usually a size 10. I'm gonna buy it in a 14 because I prefer it looking this oversized fit. And shall I get the brown one and the white one? I feel like they'd look so nice, like I said, in autumn. Hmm. Girl should not be shopping and now she's just spending money she doesn't have. Whilst we're in here and the lighting's good, although it's fucking boiling, I'm gonna quickly run you through my outfit today. So it's rare you ever see me in color, but today I'm in lilac. I mean, what the hell's happened? I got this sick blazer, like, I literally love it, from Storettes. It's so lovely, it's like an oversized fit and it's just really lovely quality as well. I then got on this Zara bodysuit. If you follow me, you know I have so many of these. They're just so handy, they're like seven quid. And then I've got on these Adidas little like lilac runner shorts, which actually match this blazer perfectly. And it looks like a little suit, which I think is kind of cute. I then got on my super pointless but cute bag. See what I mean though? It looks really cute with this outfit. And then in terms of shoes, I've got my Balenciaga track on and a pair of frilly socks from Primark. I'm in Zara now and there's so much new season stuff, but I just think it's all crap, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a lot of the stuff is the stuff that they had before the sales started. They kind of put it all away and now they've brought it all back out again. I'm just not feeling any of it at all. I feel like the only single thing I found in here that I like is this shirt and I'm not gonna buy it because I literally have 75 white shirts. I literally feel like this plain white shirt is the only thing I like and they also do it in a striped version as well which is kind of cute that would look really nice like over a bikini or something like that and here is the item number I'll obviously link it down below as well it's only $25.99 I'm guessing the white one is the same price yeah so basically out of the whole shop the only thing that I liked was this oh my god I literally just nearly got eaten by a seagull so when is the Zara can you believe it? I did not try on one single thing. That's how bad it is, because I'm literally the queen of Zara and did not try anything on. I always feel like it's like that after sale though. Like it's absolutely shockingly shit. I'm just walking down to office because I want to check if they've got a pair of trainers. Basically, I don't know if anyone's seen them, but they do like Nike Air Force, but with a pink tick on them. I just think they're so cute for summer. I'll insert a photo here because I actually mentioned her once before in my vlog, but Sophia, a girl that I literally love from Instagram. Wow, it's so bright. Yeah, so I fangirl her so hard. She's got them and they're literally so nice. So I'm off down there to see if they've got them at all. I'm gonna get a coffee and then I think I'm gonna go and get my ear pierced, which should be interesting. Well, I went to office and surprise, surprise, they didn't have their shoes. I really didn't think they'd have them, but thought I'd try it anyway. I've obviously been to Starbucks, got myself a little coffee. I guess so many people always ask me, oh, like, what's your coffee order? So, coffee order is a ice, obviously ice in the summer, like non-ice in the winter, but I get an ice caramel latte. I get it decaf because normal coffee gives me anxiety because I literally can't drink caffeine. 
because basically yeah it just gives me anxiety because it makes me like too hyped up i then drink oat milk because um dairy i think is bad for my skin my doctor told me that doesn't work for everyone but i mean have you seen this spot on my face today so it doesn't really help for me either but you know try anything you possibly can so yeah, I'm one of those annoying twats that goes in and asks for a coffee so long, I'm like, can I just get a medium iced caramel latte decaf with oat milk, please? But just to let you all know, oat milk is an absolute game changer. I only ever used to drink almond milk, but then I tried oat and it's so much creamier and so much nicer. Anyway, I'm literally just outside the ear piercing shop because I feel like I want to go and get another two piercings in my ear. If you watch the vlog where I ended up crying, you know the one where I got a bit emotional in the car? That day I was meant to go get my ears pierced and never did it because I cried instead. So I thought why not go and do it today if they're still open because I don't actually know if I'm going to have enough time. But I'm literally outside now. They definitely will not let me film inside because I've tried it once before. So hopefully I'll see you when I come out. I have two new piercings in my ear. Guys, I literally wish I'd put like a time on when I went in to Hello, that place people. and then <laughs> I wish I had a time when I went into that place and then come out. Like honestly, I was in there for like all of about three seconds. She literally did the piercing, the girl was so lovely and then that's it, I've just walked out. Hopefully they'll heal pretty quick. When I get in the car, I'm going to show you properly because I'm just walking up town. Out of breath as per usual. Back in the car and wow, it is hot. I've probably said that 25 times on this vlog, but hot is not the word today. It's 24 degrees and I've been like in a multi-story car park, which is like cool and shaded, so you get the drift, it's bloody hot. Um, so I had my ears pierced, like I told you, I'm just checking on them. Yeah, they look so cute. Okay, so I literally just had two low piercings here. I'm gonna show you properly when I get in because obviously I've got four in this side, but this top one here is like cartilage piercing and I had a bad experience with cartilage piercings a little while ago and it's literally just put me off them for life. I feel like low piercings, well they do, heal so much quicker than cartilage, so fuck cartilage we're all for lobes okay anyway i need to get home i've got an asos parcel waiting for me at the house oh god how lucky am i not like some sexy man or whatever just an asos parcel but do you know what sometimes asos parcels and any kind of delivery is better than any type of guy i've ever met in the past anyway but when i get in i'm gonna show you what's in that try it on real shame about zara today but probably a good thing for my bank balance but i love that cord blazer, that corduroy blazer found in H&M. That was a find. Anyway, I'm gonna drive home and I will see you there. See you there. Sorry, I got in and my dad wanted me to do some cleaning because he's got some friends coming around. But I am here with my first outfit from ASOS. So it's this like little matching cord set. How bloody cute is it? It's same again, it's got the tortoiseshell buttons. It's obviously all like crochet. I say this about everything, but you literally could dress this up or down. It'd be so cute in the daytime or in the evening with a pair of like little heels. I love it, it's such thick material as well. If you're gonna buy it, I would say definitely 100% size up in the shorts. I think the waistband on them are so tight. Either that or I've put on weight, which I actually have put on weight. I literally have had a few weeks of eating like a horse. Um, and the jacket, I say the jacket is pretty true to size. So I have the jacket in a medium. I have the shorts in a size 10, but they are, they're pretty, they're pretty snug, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I think this outfit's really, really, really cute. Sorry, the sun's in a little bit of a weird place now. Just to give you an overall view. So the next thing is this dress. Now, I saw this on Ellie Jocelyn. I literally am obsessed with Ellie. She is a friend as well, and she knows how obsessed I am with her. <laughs> weird, I know. Um, but she just looks unreal and everything. I'm gonna insert a photo here of her in this dress. She wore it when she was in Ibiza with ASOS, and I literally fell in love with it. It's sold out. And then she put on her story the other day, it was back in stock, so I quickly bought it. I bought it in a size 10, which is like my usual size, but I probably could have done with a size 8 because in places it is a little bit big, but I don't know if it's still in stock. If it's in stock, I'll order it again in a size 8. If not, I'm just going to keep this one, but I absolutely love it. So this is what it looks like. It's obviously got this like little tassel detail here, and it's like a fitted kind of... Not a bodycon, but I guess it is kind of bodycon because it's like tight to you. All white dress with this little tassely bit here. And obviously it is quite booby, but I think it's gorgeous. And it's so flattering because it's kind of like ruffled around here. I'm going back to Ibiza. I haven't actually told you guys this, but I'm going back to Ibiza in like two or three weeks. 
Um, I'm going back with my friend Abby, which you've met because she was the girl that I went to Bahamas with and to Miami, so she was in that vlog. And I feel like this dress could be really lovely. I'm basically just copying Ellie, aren't I? Um, but I think it'd be really lovely for like a little evening out, like dinner sort of vibe dress for there. Even though Ibiza obviously isn't really that dressy, but I feel like stuff like this you can kind of get away with it um, if we go somewhere like maybe STK. I feel like we're going to go to STK one night. So this would be a really nice, I'm just going to show you a little bit more, like a really nice outfit for that so I did actually order some other stuff from ASOS but I'm not gonna lie it's absolutely horrific and I don't even want to show you it on because I can't be bothered to put it back on and it was just literally so awful like no one would want to buy that so I'm just gonna put it back in the bag and send it straight back but obviously the cord and this I'm super happy with at this point I feel like I'm gonna end this vlog here do you know what I'm gonna be honest with you guys usually I vlog like this quite often so i tend to vlog a lot and then just never put it on youtube because i think i'm just too super critical of myself i watch it back think wow this has been incredibly boring and then never actually put it online but then the other day i spent a whole day watching youtube videos and watching girls just like live in their daily life and i found their videos so interesting and i was thinking do you know what i feel like i do more in my videos yet find myself boring and then i just thought am i just finding it boring because it's me and would other people find this interesting so i'm just going to try and start uploading the vlogs that maybe i don't think are great but hopefully you will actually will find interesting i think i'm just too harsh on myself basically so usually this vlog would be scrapped because i feel like it's been a little bit scatty and a bit boring which my life is also scatty and boring but i want to get into weekly vlogging and stuff so I'm just thinking, sod it, I'm going to upload this and hope for the best. Please let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed it. If you have, it means I can do more of these videos. If you haven't, I'll try and make my vlogs more interesting and like only film when I'm at events and stuff like that. But obviously I don't do that every week. So it's really difficult to like kind of make your life interesting when your life isn't that interesting. Do you see what I'm saying? But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. It feels so good to be back. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to all of you that subscribe and like. And you know I love you guys so much. All being well this video should be up on thursday and then i'll have another video up for you fingers crossed on sunday thank you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye